people are considering getting DBS, what is the process that you go through once you're starting to consider DBS, like from the very beginning to post-surgical, in a nutshell? Yes. <laughs> so it, it varies facility to facility depending on the movement disorder doctor. Um, however, generally what you do is you have to do a on and off state testing, normally using the UPDRS, which is the Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale. So it's basically kind of this arsenal of questions and tests, motor and medication based that you answer and you get a net score. They're looking at your total score as well as your motor score in particular because those tend to be the complaints and the things that we work on the most for DBS. You do an on state, then you wash all your Parkinson's medication, which everybody hates to do because you feel terrible and then you retest all those same things that you did in the on state and you see if there's enough of a difference. Now in general, again, this varies facility to facility, but we normally want to aim for 20 to 30 percent, aiming towards that 30 percent plus mark of a difference between your on state, off state to show in a, that true benefit of DBS. Um, in addition to that, if you're showing any signs of cognitive impairment, they may send you for formal neuropsychology testing, which if any of you have ever been through that, it is daunting. It's a six hour event where you go to a neuropsychologist and they are asking you questions, making you do tests and draw these silly pictures. But the rationale behind that is there's some research that shows certain areas in the brain, in particular the STN, if you already have cognitive impairment, it may exacerbate that to some degree. So they want to make sure you don't have an underlying cognitive issue um, beforehand.